When the anesthesiologists typically do it, they do it with lidocaine because that numbs that area here, that nerve, uh, and that reduces headaches uh, significantly. And I think the statistic was about two out of three patients get benefited from it. Okay. Uh, so with stem cell, it should have that added benefit. Uh, we're not going to mix it with lidocaine, so you're not going to have like that immediate effect of the block uh, of the nerve. But since we're going to do it with stem cells, it should have a longer term mm -hmm. effect on that. So okay. hopefully that will reduce your headaches Great. as well. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Do you use the temperature strips? Yes, they should. They, they come here and there. Right here. So uh, I'm going to show the temperature strips. So these temperature strips, basically we're going to put them on each side of your nose. Okay. And those will tell us the temperature of the skin. And you, you can see it as soon as we'll put it on, we'll be able to kind of notice it within it. So this is the exosomes. These are the exosomes. <coughs> okay. So um, this, um, so what will happen is we're going to put you in a position. It's kind of like a, a your your head will be kind of extended backwards. Okay. Uh, because what we want to make sure is that, sir, and it might be a little bit uncomfortable. The sensation of having something in that area of the spinocolitis uh, uh, nerve that's going to be uncomfortable. Uh, and so we want to avoid you lifting your head up. That's what sometimes patients do it when I had the procedure. That's my first instant. As soon as you feel like something is hitting you from the inside, especially when you put the stem cell in, that sensation is uncomfortable and the first thing you want to do is like stand up. Right? And so it's gonna might, might feel like tickling, it might feel like like you have fluids, actually fluids in up there and up, up the nose cavity. So uh, you wanna do what you wanna do is actually stay for at least yeah, ten minutes if you can with your head backwards after we're done, just to allow that to kind of diffuse. Okay. Is it, uh, will there be like nasal drip? Will I feel like... Hopefully not much. Okay. <laughs> hopefully not much. I doesn't want to like gag. Yeah, hopefully not much, but we can get you some, <coughs> some tissue if you want. If you have something down your throat, you can clear it out. Okay. Or we can get you some water. Okay. Do you just do one side? We're going to do both sides at the same time. So this guy. Okay. Perfect. And what we'll do is we'll have you just bend forward just a bit. Just, just, uh, just kind of bend forward just a little bit. Oh, okay. So we can set this up. Because what we want is we want your head to the back. Yes. Kind of like that. Let's see if we can get you some tissue. Perfect. And these ones will go. Okay. That looks like that looks like it's ready. You can it can be anywhere between half to two, but we want to make sure that he keeps his head uh, tilted back, extended, just to make sure that um, he's got as much as that that medication. how it looks like when we're pulling it out, right? So it's got this, so it has this uh, retractable probe, basically, and the way we inserted it is we inserted it in this way, so it basically is going to follow the cavity of the nose, and once we're there on s in the right spot, we'll basically open up and kind of deploy this probe. Right, and that's where we're gonna inject that that medication. Okay. So it kind of looks like that, and then we pull out. So it's really important to make sure that after we inject the stem cells, we don't pull out the entire device, the spinal cap, outside out out like that, because we can cause damage. So what we want to do when we're inside, we want to basically when we're done, we pull pull it in the little probe and then we pull it out. Okay, it's gonna be really important to do it like that. So what we'll do is we'll just plug in right now.
Okay, so now we have the exosomes all plugged in. We're gonna go in first. Good, good. Very good. Okay, let's do the other side. You're doing great. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Good. good. Okay. okay, here we go. Okay. Very good, very good. And that's oh. just trying to relax. Sometimes seeing tears in the arms, that's that's a part of the reaction. You know you're actually there Ooh. in that place. <laughs> and you can see the temperature is slowly increasing over there on both sides. That's heavy. Yes, I know. <laughs> and man, I uh, yeah, so I just got the procedure, uh, the nasal procedure. And um, basically, when it first goes in your nose, it feels like someone's kind of touching your bone inside your face. And then once they release the fluid, it's like a quick three second burning sensation followed by a heavy pressure or it feels like someone's pressing on your face. Um, and then you kind of just lay there for about 15 minutes to let everything flush. Um, it's no it's no pain. It's, it's a three second burn. Uh, and then it's fine. Uh, this is 15 minutes later and I'm fine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Cohen and the SpinoCath is used basically for reintroducing, administrating the stem cells into the upper nose cavity. And now this is being used very uh, effectively. You can use either stem cells, some uh, physicians might use lidocaine at 4%, and some patients, some uh, doctors might choose to use exosomes, and, uh, especially because exosomes are much smaller particles, and according to uh, some okay. scientists, <laughs> um, exosomes yeah, can diffuse yeah. into the brain much more effectively mm -hmm. than stem cells, which are larger cell. Um, wow. Spinocap procedure is fairly simple. Basically, uh, it basically it goes in the direction of the upper cavity of the nose. Um, and once you reach the uh, spinopalatin uh, nerve, basically the patient will have a reaction that might include uh, irritation, um, tearing of the eyes, a slight sensation of discomfort, and, and in most cases, one or two degrees increase uh, as measured with their uh, temperature stripped that are supposed to be placed on here on each side. Uh, this is, could be uh, used um, according to some protocols, so some doctors might use it um, um, this procedure for uh, migraines, um, chronic uh, sinus headaches, uh, or even uh, post stroke uh, as a way uh, to get those exosomes or stem cells to diffuse up to the brain.